Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to derive one of the equations of motion. So that equation would be s equals to ut plus half a t square. So to derive this equation, we need to know two formulas of motion. One of them is the formula of distance, which is s equals to u plus v by 2 times t. And then the another formula that we need to know is v equals to u plus a t. So by using these two formulas, we can easily derive that equation, okay? So we are going to start from the first equation. So from equation 1, we have s equals to u plus v by 2 times t. Now if you look at our equation, you'll notice that there is no final velocity in that equation, okay? There is no v in that equation. But we have final velocity or v in this equation. So what we are going to do is we are going to remove this v and we will get our equation, okay? Now how to remove this v? It's pretty simple. We are going to use our second equation or second formula to remove this v and we'll get our equation. Okay, so let's see if we'll get our equation or not, okay? By replacing this v with our second formula. So we have s equals to u plus our v is u plus 80, again, from the second formula. So I'm going to replace that v with u plus 80, okay? Divided by 2 times t. I'm just copying all the remaining things. So we have this from second equation, right? So from equation. Now we are just going to solve this and we'll get our equation. So we have s equals to u plus u is 2u plus 80 is 80, right? Divided by 2 times t. Or we have s equals to, now we are going to multiply this with our time, okay? So we have 2u times time is 2ut plus 80 times time is 80 square divided by 2. Or now we are just going to bipart it. So we have 2ut divided by 2 plus 80 squared divided by 2. So there is a pretty simple logic of this. It's something like this. So a plus b divided by c is a by c plus b by c. This is simple maths, okay? You can look at it from this way. If it's a by c plus b by c, since the denominators are same, you can just write one denominator c, right? And you can do it a plus b by c. So we are just doing the opposite process of that, okay? Here. Now we can just cancel these two, right? And we can add one here because one times 80 square is 80 square, right? And we have our equation that is s equals to ut plus 1 by 2 or half 80 square. And then we have just derived our equation. If you found this video useful, please like it and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.